Bears win the draw on their own end, and it's Aiden Tolman chopping one to center for Alex Cromwell up the left wing, back ending one into the slot, put up the stick, a oh, Wilcox back to Cromwell, he shoots, he scores! 40 seconds into the game, it's Alex Cromwell ringing the near post and banking one in back of the Lloyd Minster net to give the Bears the early lead on the first shot of the game! Cromwell, he initiates the play, gets it over to Wilcox. Wilcox sends a shot in on net against Ty. It's the rebound. Cromwell follows his own rebound up into the slaughter. He's stick on the ice. Sends uh, up high a couple of times by those Bobcats players, but they're letting a lot go so far. Our, our officials as Baker puts one of the slot. Dunkel shoots. He scores! Oh, pick in the top right corner. Tanner Dunkel ties this one up. 27 seconds into the power play. Clear to the blue line. Kept in by Alex Cromwell left side to Wilcox to Tobin left corner in front Wilcox shoots oh point blank left pad save made by Ty Carrion sauces one to center for Braden Crone fit right side for the carry in by the inch backhand shot from the top of the right circle went off a stick and wide rebound poked on the goal line they score unbelievable the centering pass by the Bobcats from the right side of the net went off of something slipped between the pads of a confused Tanner Gillette and banks it down the left boards to Patrick Geary native of Libertyville Illinois left it to McDonald left corner cuts out of the net fed one through the crease shot and they score Bryce Woodward got to that perfect cross crease pass a passing lane the Barons don't usually allow you on the PK and again it takes the Bobcats less than 30 seconds to defeat this McMurray penalty kill and their lead is now three to one Rockets around back of the net and rides the near dasher up to the left half towards Lloyd Zone where the Bobcats win the battle. Clearance kept in by T.T. Shoots right up. Rebound, Aon scores! Quick thinking by John Teach off the keep and at the right point. Leads to the race shot. It's a spectacular right pad save for Christopher Ty, but Danton on the spot is there to knock in the rebound, score his first playoff goal, and bring the Barons back within one. Barron's blue line gets activated. John Teat sends a shot in. It's a great right pad saved by Ty. Ty sends the puck out. It's Ayotte. Stick on the ice. Sends the puck to the back of the net. Deep of Bobcat territory. Then he throws a hit on Dunkel. Showering the puck free to Dirk. He was hammered from behind and pinned. But the puck rolls free to the left corner. Lloyd Zell. Nice hit from there by Sonia. Leaping. It's a legend. Springer of the Bobcat. Then Bloom got hammered from behind. Sonia got hammered from behind. And the Bobcats are going to get a penalty here as Sonia is down and not moving. Vicious retaliation there by the Lloyd Bobcats tonight. Lewington through center ice. The defense could put it to Houcher. Sticks it over the line. Rolls to the slot. Ty trying to clear. Came off his stick. To Miller trying to get a shot away. He does. He scores! Ty game as Kevin Miller got to that one. Off the deflected clearance from the goaltender. Took him a while. Settling that puck down. The entire cast that's in on the edge of their seats. And he got the shot away between the pads of tie. And we got a 3-3 score. It was tenacious effort by the mob as they continue. His clearance stopped by the stick of Sonia, who swats it down to the left corner for Alex Crump. Got it to Sonia at the end board. Oh, it's a boom score! From Brendan Sonye converts just 14 seconds into the power play, and the Barons are up four to three. Sonye takes a little bit of a support roll down low in the corner. He comes up with the puck, makes a great one-on-one -on -one move to gain himself some space and time, like he often does. Sends the puck. Angle shot from the left hand boards is saved by Tanner Gillette. Barons the other way now, speeding it down the middle. Sonye got around the entire defense with a breakaway. Spins away from pressure around a diving poke check from Woodward. And then Lalika stepped into Coons with a hip check at the near half boards of the mob zone and knocks him flat on the ice, too. Knights of Columbus, that's got to hurt. <laughs> what were you thinking for real? <laughs> As Ty at the side of his own net off a clear by the Baron. Sonia speeding up the left wing side through center and over the line. Gets around to the defense in the left circle and shoots one just wide of the net by Tanner Gillette. And the Baron's outlet up the right side to Miller, who can't get it past Dunkel at the left point. Bobcats keep it in. And then the edge got absolutely rocked by Zach Wittenberg. Oh, the hit of the season right there for number 21. Welcome back, Wittenberg, as he absolutely sent the edge flying into the near boards on a clean shoulder hit. 29 seconds separate the Barons from a lead or the Bobcats from overtime. Barons poke it free. Miller dropped it back. Bloom shoots it all the way down. Off the crossbar! 
or perhaps off the back of the net, but the call is no goal. Tough to tell from our angle. 15 seconds to go. Bobcats dump it in, but they're offside. They have to retreat, and yet Lasky clears it all the way down. Eight seconds to go. The Barons come back. They beat the Bobcats, and listen to the crowd at the Casman Center.